from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. All right, uh, we have a lot of things going on in eastern Oklahoma. July is usually noted for putting up a lot of hay uh, for eastern Oklahoma for the winter months. And, of course, this last year we had a drought, so it was horrible, and nobody had hay, and people were trying to find hay, and it cost so much. And so Hayden uh, sent us this picture. His hay equipment sitting there saying, can't really do too much. And then he had a spectacular low cloud, a stratus cloud, very unique. And it got, you can kind of figure out, is that a duck? Is that a goose? What is that? Anyway, he said, what do you think? And so I said, that's a stratus coming at us. That's all I'm going to call it right now. Anyway, if, uh, as I mentioned, can't really cut hay because it takes three days or so to dry it, cure it, and then bale it. So everybody's waiting to find an opportunity to do that. But if it was last year, this was last year's numbers. It was ridiculous. As we started to get into the early to mid-July, we started blowing up and then never quit. And everything burned up. There was no grass. This year, it has been amazing as far as rainfall amounts. So the grass is growing. Now we just have to not complain about having to deal with that moisture, uh, but we're going to have to deal with it, uh, especially if you work outside. So tomorrow we're going to start moving a 100 to 105 in the afternoon after some morning rain and thunderstorms. Then if you work outside, you have to be very much aware of how hot it's going to be. Some heat index values could go above 110. It'll start to drop a little bit as a new boundary comes in for the weekend with additional rain and thunderstorms. Tonight we're watching a cluster of strong thunderstorms that are up in north central Kansas, and then that is going to dive southeast, and so it should go right across areas just to the west of Tulsa, but be in our area by morning. It's one of those mesoscale convective systems that's just kind of clustered together and probably sinks southeast. Wanted to point out as well, across the state in the last 90 days, there's been 20 inches or more of rain west-northwest of Oklahoma City, showing up 19 inches there at Clinton, 6 inches at Miami. I mean, it's like, what is going on? The universe has flipped. Well, Oklahoma has. We won't go to the universe yet. Anyway, uh, last 30 days, again, we need a lot of rain this time of year. Two inches up around the Miami area. Most all the rain has been out west. There was two inches down at Hollis, kind of uh, balancing it out a little bit. So we give you a little bit more of a look at what's going on when people say, man, we haven't had that much rain. Well, there's a lot of areas that have just not had enough water. And obviously, we've talked about Bartlesville, but Bartlesville is not alone. In the next coming days, we'll flip a little bit. Better chance of rain to the north and east. Not a ton in northeastern Oklahoma, but we can hope and pray something good happens. 70s to around 80 right now. It's quiet. Later tonight, those thunderstorms come in out of Kansas, 3 a.m. to and then you see they're trying to develop more out to the west. They could clip Tulsa in the morning, so we've upped our chances of rain. I think this might be overdone a little bit based on some of the other models we have, but this is the closest one, and this is the, we'll say, the wettest model. Otherwise, we do think it might not be quite as intense, but pretty close to having some moderate to heavy rain, a few isolated severe storms stuck in there west and northwest and south of Tulsa. Temperatures in the afternoon rebound. It'll be hot and it'll humid. It'll be in the low 90s. By the time we work our way on into Wednesday morning, we're talking about temperatures in the 70s. And then that's that Wednesday that starts to get nasty hot. Winds will pick up. That's about the only good news. But we'll be in the mid to upper 90s. But the heat index will feel like 110. The same story on Thursday. Slight chance of overnight thunderstorm. Thursday night into Friday morning, but a heat index around 110 Thursday. Friday, temperatures in the 90s, heat index 105, and a chance of thunderstorm starts to show up Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, so for, the, for tonight, really it's early morning, so Alan and Stephen will be busy with the trackers. Slight chance uh, Tuesday night, slight chance Wednesday night, and then our better chances would be happening as we go on into the weekend. And so it's not a rain out, but there's going to be scattered rain, thunderstorms, some of that could be locally heavy. All right, forecast looks like this, 77 as we get through the midnight hour and humid, sticky weather. 72 in the morning with chance scattered showers and storms. We have a 20% if you're just around Tulsa to the north and west, you're at a 50% chance of thunderstorms to 80% chance of storms. So you're going to get wet if you're west and northwest Tulsa for sure. 92 and hot in the afternoon, then super hot. Wednesday and Thursday. I don't know how that works, but it's just hot. And so we'll leave it at that. How that voice change works? Yeah. It goes yes. up like that. Yeah. I'm not a ventriloquist, but it's, uh, <laughs> that's about as good as I can do right now.